And so I said to myself, Batman? You're not really Batman. And that's when I came to the realization that this was completely irrelevant to the situation at hand. I can't even begin to guess what the point of that story was, Jim. Also, I'm more than slightly alarmed at this news item I've just seen on my dash. The walking dams are stalking our streets, looking for the unwary to devour. Yeah, sure you're not thinking of zombies. They're both pale and dead inside. What's the difference? Hmm, point. Carry on. Look, it all comes back to the Uncanny Valley. The closer something non-human gets to looking human, the more repulsive it is to our senses, until it actually achieves perfect imitation. Now, if you were something, something horrible, and you wanted to infiltrate humanity, you couldn't get away with just taking human form. You'd be spotted in an instant. Okay, then. But if you intentionally make things wrong and off-putting, people blame it on the costume, the grease paint, the wigs. They assume that underneath that, you're a normal-looking human. Oh! Like KISS! Exactly! Uh... And then there's the totemic aspects. In all manner of mystical traditions, dressing up as an animal invites the spirit into you, to take its strength. But what does someone dressing up as a clown invite in? That's how you get clown tamination. And when it happens, it doesn't want to leave. So uh, clowns are demons, then? Don't be ridiculous, Jim. All demonic folklore is hogwash. No! Demons are clowns! Misidentified clowns! Now, most clowns are too weak to stray far from a portal to a circus or a birthday party to feed on, but what we've got in Bakersfield are Class 4 free-roaming clowns, the second most dangerous kind next to your Bozo or Ronald McDonald class arch clowns! Uh, what do you propose, then? Killing them with fire? <laughs> that won't do any good! You kill a clown's physical body and it simply disperses for a hundred years in a day! During that time, it wanders a parallel dimension, where it can be seen, colorless and silent, navigating a realm of obstacles that we pass through! No, you want to put a clown down permanent-like? You gotta destroy them in their own plane, or capture and smash their tethering object, usually a rubber chicken or a squirting flower. Use acid, otherwise the smoke can infect others! You've put an unsettling amount of thought into this. It's far too late. I'm seeing more reports. The clown station has spread all the way to France! We're gonna have to go all supernatural on the place! Start really sucking after five seasons? Sanctified bullets, blessed swords, a crazy tricked out muscle car and a bitching 70s soundtrack, and lots and lots of homoerotic subtext. We're looking at a full-fledged clown apocalypse here! Or we could just watch a public domain short that has literally nothing to do with what we're talking about. Oh yeah, I guess that would be easier. gestures is to flip out and kill people. Uh, that's ninjas. Oh, right, I always get those confused. Hey, this is from the people who brought us lip and tongue action in the knee test. Pedigree? I had a couple of Centron action figures as a kid. Eh, not as cool as Sectars, though. It gives me a great deal of pleasure me, to introduce to you Burge Johnson. A man who needs no introduction. Good! Shut a up! A man who is known far and wide for his after-dinner talks. Far and wide also described the spray of half every occasion admitted during his has talks. given the best that he has. I give you George Johnson. Sure, everybody knows George Johnson, and it's He's the guy who eats 10,000 spiders a day, far right? Far and wide for his after-dinner talks. Because George bores everybody stiff, has for years. He's usually referred to as Old Stone Face. Gee, sure, let us have a crack at him, too. He's willing riff redundancy. And Some of the people of Africa are tall, others are very short. Some are fat, some are thin. Gee, 
Who would have thought a continent with a population of over 200 million at the time would feature any sort of diversity? Jordan audience wish they were somewhere else. Like hell, for instance. This guy's terrible. Let's get out of here. I can't. He's my cousin. So what? I'm pretty sure I've eaten at least one of my cousins. The trouble with George is he isn't interesting. His topic is interesting, but no, he it doesn't isn't. put it across. Fatness of Africans. Now here's a young speaker who is really in demand. He can't get U.S. flags because and ferns with anyone else. As he talks, he paints a picture with words and with gestures. And with copious he amounts of spittle. by the imagination until they almost believe they see the scene he describes. A world of white power. Some of the people of Africa are very short. Oh, come on! Some of others are very tall. See how Some even Mr. Popular Fern and Flag here cannot thin. salvage this inane you model of Africa speech. Is a mixture of peoples of different sizes and shapes. Recognize the speech? Yes, the words are the same as George Johnson's, but making him a plagiarist. John is good. The difference between John and George is not in what they say, but in how they say it. And who's got the John flag? John is animated. He looks alive. George is just talking. How I loathe him. George keeps his body rigid and motionless. It lacks any expression whatsoever. And when oh, I never wanted to up, see Don Knotts in bondage. You gotta whip me For on the butt! The oh. helps in freeing the mind. Oh. Sorry. Oh, should be. A good speaker lets his mind and body work together to George produce George cooperates the with the twin he's absorbed in the womb. Quay. For your audience must be impressed or you're wasting your breath. Look, if they're not if impressed by an impress arm them, growing out of your skull, you give it up. Them. Motion attracts the attention and keeps interest. Ever see people look into a store window? Wow, Notice they are totally them? doing it in there. Usually it's something that moves. Whoa, I'm gonna Ralph. Yes, motion attracts your attention. Oh, and sorry, what was that? Enough, I was watching the dog now. Attention. It was a dark and stormy a day. A good speaker holds your attention wide. partly by what he says and partly day, by the way he looks when he says it. I clutched the large wooden wheel in my hand and gazed out over the bow. Did you visit the poop deck? Suppose you can't see him, but only hear what he has to say. And over and down. And soon my stomach likewise was going up. Yes, that's why I'm never eating at Sonic time. again. It was a bad day. A good speaker should be seen as well as heard. Yeah, voiceovers are for losers. Yeah. The average speaker, such as you and I, is usually afraid to make what? use of bodily motion in oh, making Oh, really? Speech. Well, how about I bodily motion your punk ass? Jim, come on, it's not worth it. So Starch, did you hear what he said? He impugned our speeching abilities. You gotta take that crap from him? First of off, we can't hurt him. He's a voice on an old film. Second, but he's long dead by now. Telephone conversation That's what he gets. With someone he can't even see. By his expression and his gestures, he expresses... Mild surprise. Oh, it's like if Bob Newhart and John Cleese had a kid. Mirth. So they're not talking about Family Guy then. Anxiety. Netflix is paying to make how many Adam Sandler movies? And even anger. His the mind season of Lie to Me is really terrible. Because he's being natural since he knows nobody's watching him. Watch a pair of ladies discuss a new spring outfit. Ladies. If you think gesturing is unnatural, they're so interested in what they're talking about, they've forgotten someone might be watching them. From the bushes. The bush is 500 feet away, as per the restraining order. Their minds and bodies are... Oops, sorry, ladies. Go ahead and mace me. I the barely thing feel is it anymore. Even speakers like George usually unbend and speak normally in familiar surroundings. When George gets home from his speech, he's really forceful in telling his wife how well he thinks he spoke. Yet she knows well that he's as stilted and lifeless audience. in speech as he is in bed. The trick in using gestures is, of course, in using them correctly. Remember, gestures in England you raise both the middle in and index classes. The gesture used for description and the gesture used for emphasis. The descriptive gesture is just what the name implies. Describe the descriptive the for lead us, his audience please. Into the scene he describes by creating an imaginary picture. On that early October morning, the air was clear and brisk. Like a crappy camp. You could smell the bacon frying over an open fire. And a 
Above us loomed the majestic Rockies. What Dr. Frankenfurter dreams of every the night. Warm, gentle okay. fingers of morning sun. And we stood there, the two of us, side by side. His first liar's anonymous meeting speak. isn't going well. But be careful in your use of the descriptive gesture. The wrong be gesture could kill you millions. Don't attention away from yourself. Your audience will usually follow your direction. And if you lead them off into the distance by looking in that direction, you may have trouble getting their interest back to you. Because those ceiling Keep tiles are fascinating. The I'm staring at right now. One of the greatest uses of the gesture is for emphasis. Like when the ever popular jerking off gesture. Important. And you want to make it seem that way. Even if we had paid only five dollars for it. We couldn't have joined the home army. We'd have been cheated. Five hundred thousand dollars. Or the streets will run red. Bankrupt. No, gentlemen. There can be no justice. Until all of their heads are on pikes. Concerned. Speaking with gestures is speaking naturally. Speaking the way you speak on the telephone to someone you know. Bill O'Reilly used a lot of gestures when speaking to people he knew on the phone. Using motions to help your audience visualize what you're there talking about. There were spiders about. just crawling so out of her hair. Dozens clothes. of egg sacs. Oh, and so many nits. Yes, speaking with gestures is speaking naturally. In case you weren't you paying attention when I said that home, exactly 20 seconds family. ago. Use gestures to help free your body and your mind. If you free so your you mind, then sound the rest will follow. Look be colorblind. Don't be so shallow. Use motion to attract and hold the attention of your audience. Or the attention of a T-Rex. Yes, you too can be an interesting speaker. One whom people will want to hear. About whom people will say, this fellow's good. I mean, funny, then like I'm a clown? I amuse you? I make you laugh? You I'm here to f***ing amuse you? What do you mean funny? Funny how? How am I funny? Having seen this motion picture, many of you in this audience will realize it was made especially for your benefit. We to hate you, you as much as we hate speech. that duller George. Yes, this picture was aimed directly at you. Also, you're ugly and stupid. That's right. Tally up those regrets. Big list, isn't it? You deserve everything the internet says about you. And you may go home and look in your mirror and say to yourself Why that go with on a little living? practice and the use of That's gestures, it. I'll get a gun, be and the then they'll all pay. Yeah. It doesn't make any difference whether they're tall or short. Remember, they a good speaker flails around like Africa. Howdy Doody caught in a ceiling I fan. Thank you. <laughs> oh no! That eagle's about to get hit head on by an oncoming car with its brights on! <laughs> Well, that was educational, wasn't it? And speaking of educational, remember back a riff ago when we floated the idea of a contest like an air biscuit? Have you got a safety animal costume concept? Send your text descriptions, drawings, or even video links via Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, or email by September 19th, 2014. Ah, oh, those treasured memories of bygone days. Well, we asked and you responded. Literally several of you sent in your preposterous safety animal mascot ideas. Unfortunately, everyone who entered can't win, although you're all winners in our hearts and kidneys. But we can highlight the perplexing peaks into our viewers' psyches. Creature SH brings us Sally the Safer Sex Anaconda. We especially dig the tiny hat, and also wonder about just what constitutes safer sex. Like, it implies there's room for improvement on the safety front? The Not Dead Anymore DJ Soundbite sends us Business Duck, icon for cubicle dwellers everywhere. There's a lot of symbolism going on here, with the shoes restricting BD's natural swimming ability, and the wristwatch on the wing that prevents him from flying into the limitless sky. We've all been there, Business Duck. We've all been there. Our most colorful entry comes from Jackie, who sends us Shirley Skunk. Bright pastel 80s aerobics leotard as a base? We're down. Jackie didn't let us in on what object lesson she's an avatar for, but I'm gonna guess the importance of proper ligament care. Or kayaking. Major points for the 80s workout ensemble. Yeah, Starch, we need you at about a uh, 5 and you're at a... 20. But this is important! Announcing the big winner! Big gestures! There's no art for this one, but it really captured the slipshod spirit of Ricky the Raccoon's ensemble. 
The Cheapskate gives us the mental image of a flamingo with a slouch hat, Nehru jacket, kilted moon shoes. And is there a more important social issue facing the world than hydrofoil safety? I think not! So hooray! We'll be in touch with all of you, both for our winner's prize and for a little something for all of you just for, for participating. Watch your inboxes and whatnot. Uh, Starch, you can stop now. Can't stop! Gestures of the way! Gestures of the light! Gotta go fast! <laughs> Holding a knife. Shia LaBeouf. I don't know the words. Shia LaBeouf. <sighs> Yeesh. I feel like I've been asleep for days. It's worse than that, isn't it? Yup. Weeks. Haven't been doing this in weeks. Far and wide also describes the spray of half food chewed particle teeth floor. The walking damned are stalking our sleet our sleets our sleets. Netflix is playing is <laughs> Oh, that's mine. Or we could watch a public domain short that has literally nothing to do with the short where Taxi Shift Fresh and more try to make a lika high. Make a hiney. Oh, crap. By his expression and his gestures, he expresses mild surprise. Obviously, MST reference is obvious. That's where you get conclown. Conclown. Ah. Well, that's what I'm staring at right now. Ooh, spackle. This schmuck is hitting the keyboard with his big toe. Actually, uh, do you want to... Get, use the mouse, get it all the way down to the script. Where are we going? Can you go very down? Very down. So far. Much puppet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. John is good. The penis is evil. It's too late! I'm seeing more reports! They're in France now! The clown fenestration is Fred's... Clown fenestration? That's throwing a clown through a window! Use motion to attract and hold the attention of your audience. Or feed them a lot of quaaludes, as seen here. Literally several of you sent in your purpose Right, try that again. I shouldn't write these things for myself. There's no art for this one, but it really captured the slipshod spirit of Ricky Raccoon. <laughs> oh, I don't know if there was anything else. Nope, don't think so. Hey, Pipples, if you liked our nonsense, why don't you give us a like, or a subscribe, or leave a comment down there somewhere? You can also do us a big solid by joining our Patreon, where you'll get to join us for live streams, get early access to the newest videos, and other such things. Geek Vision